across to some breaking updates uh, where uh, reacting to the Qutub Minar controversy, Union Minister Pralad Patel has said that it was written over there in Farsi that it has been built by destroying 27 temples and this has been written by the people who committed this, not the ASI or the government. Now, these are the claims coming in from uh, Minister Pralad Patel and now he has said that no evidence is bigger than this. His reaction comes in the backdrop of the suit being filed in a Delhi court seeking restoration of a temple complex that existed inside the Qutub Minar complex. Let's listen in what, about what he really had to say. ये टुकड़ों में देखने की बात है जब एक समय एएसआई को सर्वे का काम दिया गया था तब भी विरोध हुआ था एएसआई सरकार की एक ऐसी एजेंसी है जिसकी प्रतिष्ठा पूरी दुनिया में उसके काम करने के तरीके जब दुनिया में आप दूसरे देशों में काम करने के लिए बुलाए जाते हैं तो एएसआई के अधिकारी बुलाए जाते हैं तो हर चीज पर विरोध करना तो ये सक क्या है और मैं इसलिए मैंने कुतुब मीनार की बात आपसे की है कि जो आपने किया है आप तो लिख कर गए हैं पत्रों पर खोद के गए getting some more uh, information when it comes to the Karthi Chitambaram and uh, the raids that are being carried out by the CBI on several locations including Chennai, Delhi, Punjab, Bodisha and uh, also the national capital as well. And we are seeing how the entire development has come to light and the allegations that have uh, been leveled against uh, Karthi Chitambaram as well. There is uh, there is a several seizure as well that has been made by the officials in these multiple location raids that were being carried out, multiple state uh, city raids as well that were being carried out. We're being told that documentary evidence has now been collected by the authorities, by the delegation of the CBI that had gone to carry out the raids as well. We are learning that the allegations were that uh, to the tune of 250 Chinese nationals that were given visas and the illegal uh, bribe in fact uh, that was also gained by Karthi Chitamram to the tune of rupees 50 lakh in this uh, isolated case is something that the CBI is uh, also investigating and we are learning that evidences uh, were also recovered from several locations of Karthi Chitamram's uh, residences and we are also learning that they have uh, also seized several such uh, important pieces of evidences uh, as well that will help them analyze and make their case against uh, Karthi Chitambaram better and that is the latest that we're learning when it comes to the nine uh, raids that are being carried out by the CBI in multiple cities to find out where exactly Karthi Chitambaram, how exactly in fact he had carried out this entire thing of uh, giving 250 visas to the Chinese nationals and uh, the bribe that he had also gotten to the tune of rupees 50 lakhs itself. Shavan Sen also joins us on the broadcast. Shavan, tell us more about the details with respect to the uh, raids that are being carried out and the seizures that have been made by the CBI. And we will connect to Shavan Sen in just a bit, but we are learning, viewers, uh, that because of the raids that were being carried out by the CBI since early this morning, we are now learning that documentary evidence and electronic devices have been seized in these CBI raids that were carried out against Karthi Chitambaram in at least uh, nine locations. And Shavan Sen is uh, back with us uh, as well. Let me go across to Shavan. Shavan, tell us more about the details of uh, these raids and also the documentary evidences that have been collected by the CBI. Well, in fact, uh, Priyanka, the latest details are that the searches are being carried out at 10 locations, which includes the national capital, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, Odisha. And we are being told that even the power plant uh, that is in Mansa, where the searches have been carried out. Now, the big breaking news that's basically coming out is the fact that documentary evidence has been recovered by the CBI from Karthi Chidambaram's official residence. So important to point out, the allegation that was leveled by the Chidambarams against the Central Bureau of Investigation that no evidence was have been found or no document has been seized from the residence is absolutely incorrect. Uh, 
we have been told by our sources uh, that documentary evidence has been recovered by the Central Bureau of Investigation from his official residence in the national capital. Apart from that, electronic devices have also been seized from other locations. We do not know at this point in time whether at all the electronic devices that have been seized, whether it belongs to Karthi Chidambaram or his associates, that's not very clear at this uh, point in time. But just to quickly try and explain the case that has been registered against uh, Karthi Chidambaram, who's accused number one, is. Uh, he's been booked under criminal conspiracy and also uh, the corruption, uh, you know, the Prevention of Corruption Act under sections eight and nine. Now, apart from that, remember his close aide, as Bhaskar Raman, uh, who happens to be someone who has been, uh, you know, who has been questioned in the past. Also, he has been arrested, released on bail, and someone who's been handling Karthi Chidambaram's finances. Now, he too has been booked uh, by the Central Bureau of Investigation. As far as this case goes, Priyanka, they're particularly looking at the fact that a representative of the power plant company, they had approached, we are now given to understand, S. Bhaskar Raman, and S. Bhaskar Raman had basically allegedly given that kind of assurance that the visas would be reissued, and that's exactly what happened at a later stage, where over 260 such visas were basically issued. Well, that's right, uh, Shavan. They're getting us the details of what's really happening when it comes to the raids that are being carried out by the CBI. And uh, Shavan, stay with us. We are getting some more details of these entire raids that are being carried out as well. We were learning that there are several counterparts of uh, Karthi as well. There was one name uh, named uh, Vikas Makaria also that was coming to light. Could you shed some more light uh, when it comes to the counterparts that were involved and also the entire way that this uh, uh, raids, in fact, are also carried out and the evidence is picked up by the CBI? And we will connect to him in just a bit, uh, but we are learning, viewers, the details of this entire investigation that is coming to light by the CBI that is being done. And we are learning how these uh, documentary evidences that are being seized by the CBI, the electronic devices that are being seized by the CBI will all help in making them, in fact, uh, help the CBI in making a case uh, against uh, Karthi Chitambram as well, the one that it, they are already investigating for which there are raids that are being carried out, multi-city raids, viewers in 10 locations that are being carried out by the CBI to find out uh, Karthi Chitambram's involvement. When it comes to the 250 visas that were granted to Chinese nationals and also the 50 lakh rupees bribe that was taken by Karthi Chitambram as well, this entire deal we are learning was also facilitated by several middlemen that the CBI will also be investigating into, interrogating those middlemen, taking them into custody and finding out exactly how this entire thing was made possible by Karthi Chitambaram as well. Remember, viewers, this is not the first time that Karthi Chitambaram, in fact, is being investigated by authorities. There are several times that there have been raids that have been uh, carried out in the Karthi Chitambaram residence there in Chennai, in Delhi, and also in several other locations where the CBI is carrying out the current raid that is uh, in several locations of uh, the national capital and also in Chennai, Punjab and Odisha as well.